All week we have been breaking down each individual ranger on Power Rangers Ninja Steel and today we are going to be talking about Brody the Red Ranger. Let's talk about it, break it down, hit that intro rangers. You are watching the fan club. You're watching the fan club. And you're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? And you know what time it is. It's time for the fan club. Let's go. Hey! What's going on everyone? Welcome to the fan club. It is your boy Braz, Dan Brosnan in the building. Thank you guys for checking out this content. We have been just trekking along on this individual ranger series we started about a month ago, four weeks, three weeks ago, something like that. We started off with Cosmic Fury, Dino Fury, Beast Morphers. We are about to finish off Ninja Steel today with the Red Ranger Brody. After this, we're going to go down the line. What's next? Dino Charge. Oh, man, that's going to be some fun. And then Mega Force, Samurai. Then you get into the Disney era. We are going to be covering a lot of great Rangers. And when it's all said and done, this channel, the fan club, will cover every Ranger. I think that that's pretty cool. We might actually put together like a playlist called the Ranger Database, something. That's It's nice. And... There are some characters, even with Ninja Steel, like I watched some of the episodes, I know about it, I know kind of the main storyline, but there were some things that I forgot about or didn't even know when I was researching these characters. So it is nice to go back and check out a lot of these good Rangers that we had in the past that kind of get forgotten about as the years go on. And on the fan club, we're not gonna let anybody get lost. Once a Ranger, always a Ranger like we all know, but let's get into this video. Brody Romero, the Red Ninja Steel Ranger, has a complex background that shapes his journey as a Power Ranger. Ten years prior to the start of the series, Brody was captured by Galvanax. During his time, his father and Ninja Steel Master, Dane Romero, mysteriously vanished. Brody was then forced to work as a slave for the Galaxy Warriors. Despite the harsh conditions, he found companionship in a robotic ally called Redbot and a shape-shifting alien named Mick Canick. However, he also gained an enemy in Ripcon, his supervisor. In the present, Brody overhears Galvanax's plan to get the ninja still back on Earth. Seizing the opportunity, Redbot and Mick escape with the powerful Ninja Steel Nexus Prism, which contains the Ninja's Power Stars. Their escape is not without obstacles, as they are separated from Mick during the process. Landing on Earth, Brody is immediately attacked by Corvaca, a villainous creature. However, he is saved by the unexpected arrival of Sarah and Preston, who also become rangers by pulling out their respective ninja power stars. Brody becomes the Red Ranger, showcasing his leadership qualities. He adapts quickly to his new role, thanks to the support and friendship of his fellow rangers. Brody shares similarities with Troy Burroughs, the Red Ranger, and Megaforce. Having a martial arts background in Nujitsu and displaying calm and collective behavior in tense situations. Brody's honesty can sometimes lead to trouble, as he struggles with lying. However, his honesty also reflects his genuine and kind-hearted nature. Throughout the series, Brody grows as a leader and learns to think for himself, initially relying on a datacom for information, but eventually developing his own critical thinking skills. He also faces challenging situations, such as the return of his long-lost brother Aiden, who initially causes tension within the team, but is eventually revealed to be a robot impersonating Aiden. Brody's journey ultimately leads to the defeat of Galvanax and the reunification of his family. He is happily reunited with his father, Dane, and brother, Levi, who is revealed to be the Gold Ninja Steel Ranger. Together, they celebrate their victory and continue their lives as a family. I loved this character, and I thought that Brody could have gotten more. I know that they made this kind of a red ranger focus season but it could have been better the storytelling and the lines just 
The way that they put together this show, it was meh. It was kind of like mediocre because there was some characters that were really cool, especially like your pink and Blue Ranger were awesome. And it seemed like when I was doing research on those guys, there was nothing. There was no backstories on these guys. It was quite sad. And for this being a Red Ranger, when I'm going out and looking up information, there really wasn't that much stuff compared to other Red Rangers in past seasons or even more current seasons. Because normally there's a huge focus on them and you could tell they focused on the Red Ranger in this one. He has the most backstory. Him and the Gold Ranger are like, you know, the brothers. So they get all of the storyline. But I just felt like they could have jumped more into these storylines, made them juicier. Um, that's the one thing I guess I have against Ninja Steel was I feel like the cast did a good job. I'm not hating on the cast members, the voice actors, everybody that was paid to do the job. I thought it was good. It's the people that kind of put together this season and it was like the overloading with fart jokes. It seemed like most of the episodes you could watch out of order and you wouldn't even know. It's just, there was something missing from the show, that character development, those like, those rangers that you want to watch develop through the show and by the end of it it's almost like they're a different person or there was like a major problem that they solved and now they're changed a little bit like we didn't have much of that like there was character growth in ninja steel it just wasn't as great as i wanted it to be but the red ranger at least he had a lot of growth he had a nice character could it been more? Hell yeah. The whole season could have been better. I agree. I love the cast though. I'm not going to sit here and just bash these people because they did a job and I thought they did pretty good. Like we got the Red Ninja still back here. They got the dopest suits, man. Tell me like three Power Ranger suits that are better than the Ninja Steel suits. Like, it's actually hard. I love these suits. When I first heard that we were adapting this, I was like, oh my God, this could be actually good because look at these suits. They're great. And that showed me that it's not all about the suits. A suit can like, it can sell some toys, but it's not going to make the show any good, right? So at the end of the day, I like Ninja Steel and Ending on this note makes sense. The Red Ranger, a lot of character backstory. We appreciate Brody. And I am glad to get out of this season, though. I'm happy that I learned a lot. And not that I'm like a huge Ninja Steel hater because I sit here and say it's all subjective. It's all about what you like. This was just the one where you could tell Saban was throwing in the white flag. And I want videos with more content, like, like with more stuff to give you guys. The, a lot of these characters, it just seemed like we weren't giving you like what we normally were when it came to the Hasbro characters. So is that going to be the normal for the Saban seasons? Like when I'm researching all these characters, there's just not going to be a lot of meat on the bone. It's interesting. We're going to have some fun, though. I can't wait to keep working our way down to get into, like, the Disney era and the OG Saban era. Oh, man, let's go. But what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Shout out all the fans out there that take the time out of their day to watch this content. You are the real MVPs. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Peace. I want to give a special shout out to the Gold Ranger members, Anime King Nick, Chaos Draco, The Arctic Operator, Miguel Ortiz, Let's Talk Sports, Papleon Orger, Roderick Ham, Louis Cairns, Salima Ramirez, Danny Nascimento, Stephen Heffelman, Thomas Franco, and Sean Schiffer. Thank you guys again for your support. And if you want a video shout out like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member. Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans, join a fan club official chat group 
You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger Power Up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys, and thanks for watching. Peace. Hi. Hi. We're Bulk and Skull. We, we have are been requested, requested by, by the, the fan club, club to say something, something funny. funny.